Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Earthbound. Last time, we saw the happy-go-lucky guys, the Runaway Five, live in concert. And like an emotional whiplash, they took us to the town of Threed through the tunnel inhabited by ghosts. This time! Do we have to make a new friend here, Paula? Are you sure? There's graffiti here. Just play it. That was the advertising slogan for the Super Nintendo. In Japan, it had another advertising slogan there. Kids, grown-ups, and even your big sister. What would that be a slogan for? Well, this game. The Japanese version of Earthbound Mother 2 was one of the most hotly anticipated games in Japan at the time. Japan had gone through a huge video game boom during the NES era, but it was on a bit of a decline by the time this one rolled around. And this was meant to bring back a lot of interest. It was a huge, huge success in Japan, one of the most hotly anticipated games, and they saw it for being the personality-driven charm fest that it is. What about America? You know how the rest of the world thinks America's dumb? I'll leave it at that. We're gonna explore the town a little bit. Yeah, I worked for the zombies, but I betrayed them too. I'm a con man, so I know the score. Belch gives life to the zombies, but Belch works for Gygus, who I heard might be female. Well, I'm not really sure whether Gygus is male or female, or female. I hope I'm, I'm a helpful con man, don't you think? In this town, knowledge of Gygus is already common knowledge. <laughs> How can you smile like that in a dangerous place like this? I thought I had a pretty expressionless look on my face, but I guess maybe it's interpretation. Zombies and ghosts are on the loose here. Welcome to Threed. Things are as bad as they seem. Speaking of things being as bad as they seem, we have a new enemy in the mix. Handsome Tom. All right, uh, these things are strange. They're puppets being controlled by floating hands. Indeed, very strange. Oh, we didn't get to see anything about it. It's not really that special of an enemy. It's weak to fire and resists pretty much everything else. Has the capability of using hypnosis and brain shock, really is just a status inflictor, and it's one of those more annoying enemies that if you fight it in a group, I'd recommend taking it out first. I saw a beat up tour bus go into Foreside. We can't go through the tunnel. The band was really noisy, so the ghost didn't approach the bus. It must be great to be so happy go lucky. Oh, wow, I actually didn't know that they were going to be described as that so soon. I really am psychic when it comes to this game, or I just played it too much. There's graffiti here. Software development house where you can see Mount Fuji. Hal Laboratory. I'd love to go there someday. So much great talent came out of that studio. Uh, it's such a great place. And yeah, it's the very same Hal Laboratory behind Kirby. This game was in development alongside uh, some other Kirby titles and some of the staff is even shared. In fact, a lot of the people that made Earthbound went on to go make Super Smash Brothers, if you didn't know that. Have you ever wondered why an obscure nobody like Ness was able to get into such a big hot game on the ground floor? That would be why. He was their boy, their creation. That's right, there is a rumor that a monster called Belch is screwing up the town. Belch! That's a gross twisted name, even for a monster. I kinda don't like how you can see outside and it looks like a perfect, normal, clear day outside, even though it's very clearly not. <laughs> very clearly not. Earthbound is interesting in that it has a lighting engine built in. Yeah, ahead of its time, for to be certain. <laughs> Uh, Earthbound's lighting engine works where a, uh, you can kind of control if an area is light or dark, um, very easily, and generally dark, um, whenever it's nighttime. There are actually shutters on the windows to reflect this because on the layer below it, it looks like a perfect clear day. They didn't apply that to any of the houses here, but they did to places like Ness's house when it's nighttime. I wish that they did that. I won't say anything to you adults, but I would stress that to you young kids, don't play for more than two hours. Anything excessive is no good. Parents opposing ob obsession plan. It stands for poop. <laughs> That's okay. We'll eed their warnings. <laughs> Shh, don't talk too loud. What do you want? I got what you need. We have no use for the toy air gun. The bomb we've already seen what that does. You might want to pick up a few of those if you're worried about Paula getting low on PP. I'm not. The bottle rocket is an attacking item that neither of us are capable of using, hence us being grayed out. Even if it's not a piece of equipment, the game is nice enough to tell you when a character is not able to use an item. Rust promoter, we've already gone over. It deals with metallic and mechanical enemies. Keep on the watch for bad guys. 
First time seeing an arms dealer, things very much are dire around here. I'm trying to think about where we want to go to next. All of the signposts in town are great. They're pretty much all developer messages, and I love that in just kind of a dreary town like this, you feel a bit of a connection to the developers. It cheers things up a lot. This doesn't cheer things up a lot. You get this creepy indoor music that is not the buy something will you theme that I know and love and makes me feel good no matter what kind of mood I'm in. Let's see what there is for sale. That sounds like a good way to get started. Cold Remedy, uh, Vial of Serum Cures Poison. First time seeing that. Refreshing herb I've already gone over. You can buy toothbrushes. You saw what the new Edge Richter Hippie did with that. And the Calorie Stick. I'll buy one of these. It's one of my favorite items. Just, well, it's an item that I have somewhat of a strange affinity for. When eaten, you recover about 60 HP. It's pretty good for the money, but I've always wondered what a calorie stick is. It sounds like the most unappealing piece of food I could possibly imagine, and I don't know with a name like that who would ever purchase such a thing. We're going to call the Escargo Express. I'm going to pick some stuff up. Got to make sure to keep my money on me. And this guy will sell you the Minor League Bat for Ness. If you can carry it. Give me that, I'll equip it here, and you can buy my Sandlot bat for the regular selling price. Uh, good menu design, good, good menu design. It's got a few too many A presses for the modern world, but I think it's just fine. Paula can take that fry pan. We can now normally buy hard hats, but we found one for free for Ness, and Paula has something even better than it. <laughs> Still ahead of the game, I've yet to have to buy a single piece of headgear. The insecticide spray deals with insectoid enemies. I don't know if insectoid is a real word or if it's just a term in Xenoblade Chronicles X, but it just felt good to say. Copper bracelet we also don't need, because we already had them for a while now. The equipment's not that helpful. We got new weapons to be sure, and that's always welcome, of course. I always want to do more damage. Um, hospital and the pizza place aren't a big deal because we've already gotten the mock pizza phone number and you got to call them to order. Hello, may I help you? What shall I get you? Cookie, bread roll, croissant, skip sandwich, lucky sandwich, can of fruit juice, cup of coffee. No new item. Though I got to do it. Thought I'd give Paula the uh, insecticide spray because, again, if she runs out of PP, that'll give her something that she could do in battle. And it is a little bit more helpful than you might think at first glance. It's none of your business that we have a small house. Just keep all that whispering quiet out there. I'm so sorry. Your house only has five windows in the front and is only two stories. Zombie go Zombies and ghosts are on the loose here. I can't, so I can't go to Tucson or Foresight. Maybe the hidden road in the graveyard is safe. Ooh, perhaps that was something we should... Here, yes. Hi, hello. I think we're just gonna go around and talk to people at this point. It's kind of what you do when you get to a new town. Hello! I can cover the bill. We don't need the backstage pass any longer. You will never need to use this item again. You are free to deposit it. Not gonna ditch anything else. That was the main one. Besides, it's not even like we could go to Tucson to go backstage, even if we wanted to at this point. Horses say nay, but the hint shop says yay to giving you a hint. Eagle and hint union. Ah, uh, it only stands for eh -hoo. Way to let my expectations down. I should have read those signs in reverse order so I wouldn't have been let down. Hey, you! The trick or trick kid. Many people call this the trick or treat kid, and I've seen this typo more times than I can count, but no, you saw it right there, quite clearly. Trick or trick kid. Time to try out our freeze beta. Wow. 300 damage, Miss Overpowered Pink Mini Skirt. That doesn't make any sense because you're not even wearing a mini skirt. I'm sorry, but I think you ought to leave now. I have no guarantee that you're not a zombie out, for, uh, out looking for a lunch. Fine, we'll fight another group of enemies. Nothing new here, so I think instead we're going to show off our skills because we were rolling with them punches and now we're a lot stronger. Rollin' Beta! That was disappointing. <laughs> what are you doing? You're just reeling. I swear he uses annoying status moves that you want to watch out for. 
Okay. And then, ooh! Trick or Trick it, spit its pumpkin seeds. That is his only attack, and I gotta say, that takes some serious talent. I'm imagining that he's eating the inside of the pumpkin, storing the seeds in his cheeks, and then just spitting them out at us for a cool effect. That sounds like a fun idea. That sounds like a fun and very unhygienic idea for a Halloween costume. Feel free to steal it. But no, 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 you won. Polygrid to level 15 from that fight, and if you're worried about the Trick or Trick Kid not getting enough time in the sun, he doesn't have any other attacks. He doesn't do anything else. Paula realized the power of PSI Magnet Alpha. We've seen some bosses use that against us. Very welcome addition to the team, especially on the one who's going to be using PP the most. If you happen to know that an enemy is psychic, you can use that to... Oh, I thought the flag on top of the circus tent was a glitched up enemy sprite, and I got really freaked out for a second. <laughs> a lot of fights. I wouldn't have it any other way, because it definitely... Sets the tone. I saw a suspicious woman talking with uh, talking with the zombies around here. Definitely sets the tone. It's just not exactly easy for talking about said town. Three Sunset Hotel. I think we're gonna save that for a little bit later because I want my dollar spent to HP recovered ratio to be good. Want to escape to the beach? If this is your big dream, come to Carillon Beach in Summers, Summers Tourism Bureau. Hmm. Maybe when we hit a slow point in our adventure and we're in need of a vacation from all this world-saving business that's hard on these young, impressionable minds, maybe we'll go do that. Thinking, uh, we'll go around a little bit more. Hello, it's your dad. I wish I went over and fought that ghost. That would have been hilarious. You've been denied. Okay, um... Very next thing that I want to do, and there's the don't enter sign. It's always a party when that thing's around. Is going up here. I think it's right around this area. There is a garbage can. There is a teddy bear inside. Aw, poor thing. Who would have thrown you away? The Hitman! It's okay, teddy bear. It's okay. I love you. You are too good for an NPC as useless as the Hint Man. There is a reason why they stuck the Earthbound Player's Guide in every copy of this game so no one would ever use them. It's called Karma. Alright, it's since mildly amusing, so we're gonna show it. There's a tunnel northwest of this town. There are two guard zombies that hang out at the entrance. They're actually pretty nice guys. It might be a good idea to meet those guys. But it's quite alright if you don't. Though I think you really ought to go there. That's it for today. Yeah, I love my teddy bears. I'm sorry. Um, where is this thing? I know it's around here somewhere. Yes, right in front of this tombstone. Is apparently what is classified as a memorable photo op. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, fuzzy pickles. I think the... I think that the first um, optional photo spot was the one in Peaceful Rest Valley where you have to go north of the um, area that replaces the bridge. Uh, I will be showing every single photo op that there is, and that is a very easily missable one if you're a really big fan of getting them all. Getting every photo spot doesn't do anything in particular, but it just feels kind of wrong not getting them all, okay? In speedruns, I always felt very wrong not getting the photo spots. It just seems to make his life very happy. This bullet board, this bulletin board uh, greets you this evening. All is well. Good night. Is that a haiku or something? I remember I was in my 20s before I really understand what a haiku was. I'm a wimpy little guy, so I can't open the door. You know, it's scary. Oh, a mouse. Has anyone given you a name yet? You're awfully kind to take the time talking to a mouse. This mouse loves you. <laughs> uh, all animals up to this point have talked in parentheses. Uh, you cheer up or you better become a zombie. Ooh. Um... All animals have talked in parentheses up to this point, hinting that Ness's psychic abilities allow him to talk to animals. It's just a fun little detail. They have thoughts, but they can't really say anything. Okay, I think that is all the major points of interest I wanted to hit, except for the circus. This is a service that we have not seen at any point yet. I'm scared of the zombies. I spent all my time running from them. I can't even get home. There's a rumor that there's an underground path at the edge of the graveyard that takes you somewhere. 
When he gets through the path, he'll meet a dirty, stinky, ugly, powerful monster. I wet my pants just thinking about it! This town seems very dark, right? The people are mostly living at the center of town. I wonder how we should get the town back from the zombies. I'm not really sure myself, but I think it has something to do with smacking s the right guy in the head with a baseball bat. How can we defeat the zombies? Oh, uh, I just don't know! The zombies are slowly advancing toward the tent. Everyone, I repeat, the zombies are on the move! I'm glad you're going to help us, but you're pretty young. We, why don't we get all the zombies in this tent and then set it on fire? We may get, all get munched before we have a chance to do anything. This circus tent is seemingly a base of operations for the people trying to get rid of the zombies, which probably also has an equally funny abbreviation. Coil snake? I took a back attack on purpose because I wanted to make sure- Yes! A coil snake with a unique battle background. <laughs> That's a new one. I don't think I've seen coil snakes here before. In before somebody links to an old video of me playing Earthbound where I saw Coil Snake and had the exact same reaction, but I'm sorry, it's been 10 years and I can't remember everything that I've ever said. I try my best though, okay? Ah, the bellhop here is the only one who stuck by this place. Well, um, there's something about hotels that I want to show you. I meant to check the sign. $60 per night for a single room. Something that has changed about our party is that now that we have Paula, a one night stay will cost you $120. Paula can't sleep in the same room as Ness, even though there's two beds per room, so our hotel fees are now double from having her in the party. It's a meticulous little detail that I think a lesser game would not have thought to do. I like it. I appreciate having less money. S sir? Are you, are, you, are you going out? The guest newspaper that were delivered to the hotel today are different from normal. The paper is called the Zombie Herald. I'm scared, but let me tell you what's in it. Destroy the humans. Hold the town for our glory and for the glory of our master. <laughs> that is so cheesy. It's awesome. <laughs> Evil newspapers being delivered to the hotels that are still under human control as a way of threatening the humans. I like that. I like that a lot. The Zombie Herald. You are my favorite newspaper yet, even more so than some of the funnier ones that we've seen. Ah, uh, man. This game is so good. I love it. Uh. Okay. Well, we're going to the graveyard. We heard that there was an underground passageway that might lead us somewhere. And... Oh! Time for some battles, the Putrid Moldy Man. There is an enemy by that name. It's official. It just gets better and better by the minute now, doesn't it? And the Smelly Ghost, a little bit less spectacular. These have very high defense. I would suggest expending all the PP that you can against them and not bothering with physical attacks. Boom, 236 damage, 152. Uh, I feel almost a bit sorry for them. Moving right next up. You're not an enemy, you're just a plain old garbage can. There is an insecticide spray inside. Just in time for another enemy that would be affected by said insecticide spray. We have the no good fly. It's no good at being a fly because it's actually a bee. That's the explanation that I'm sticking with. No good flies have very high speed. They are likely to dodge your attacks just like any bug that's evading your fly swatter. However, they're no match for your insecticide spray. And now we're gonna smell a ghost, 86 damage and 99. Hits all enemies, so that's doubly nice. Smelly Ghost is attacking. You guys have more that you could do other than just regular attacks. I'm just saying, if you have any sort of special powers, I'd like to see them so I don't have to go over the time to explain them. You're hitting around the teddy bear. Said something nasty. <laughs> Did not work on the teddy bear. Ouch. Uh, poor teddy bear. We give it a new life and it dies within minutes anyway. Vents a terrible odor. That makes one character's offense go down. We've already seen Say Something Nasty. I mentioned it with Frank, as well as when we fought the uh, annoying old party man. This guy has a lot of defense. I'm, almost, I'm just kind of attacking it regularly now because I want to see Paula get the kill with one HP. Uh, ooh. Paula, the time has come. You must don the calorie stick. Max out her HP. 
This is going on a bit too long for my liking, and Ness agrees with me. Awesome. I love it when I'm on the same wavelength as whoever I'm playing as. Let's do that fire. And just as a reminder, fire only hits one row of enemies. If we were to use it on the group when the putrid moldy man was still around, or sorry, when the smelly ghost was around, we could only hit either the smelly ghost or the two no good flies. The physical position of enemies in battle does impact how your attacks are able to hit them. It's a bit like Chrono Trigger. Offense up by five, defense up by one, speed up by three, guts up by one, vitality up by one, IQ up by two. I welcome a lot of HP and PP. You needed it. Okay. He stares into your soul. He looks you over. You know what sounds like a great idea? Going back to town, resting up in the hotel a second time, now that we have seen that, and having some top-notch, grade-A, one-of-a-kind nightmares. Hey, we're recreating childhood, aren't we? By going back to town, we've heard about you. She will run from you when you get close to her, but if your timing is just right, you can talk to her. She will turn around and face you just like an NPC. Her text is just no problem here. If you don't pull it off in the first room, you can go into this door. Oh, what, the, who are you? Are you in cahoots? Be careful when walking around outside, especially near the graveyard. <laughs> Been there, done that, buddy. His great big ol' awesome smile is very out of place. I was saying that if you go out and back in, you can immediately hold left and do it again. However. Oh, oh, you're losing consciousness. What could be the fate of Ness and his friend? It's okay, Paula. I came prepared. All that backtracking is about to pay off. The door is locked. I'm calling out to you who I've never met. I'm calling our friend who we've never met. Jeff! Jeff! We need your help! I am Paula, and I am with another friend, Ness. We are trying to contact you. 